Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 12 of my Engineer's Life 2 playthrough. And I think it's time that we uh, probably get started on some, some sort of power, right? So, word of advice though on these metal crafting tables. This inventory here gets deleted if you just pick up the table. So, found that one out the hard way. And I, the problem with that is... Uh, hopefully yeah, my saw is still upstairs, but I like I lost three stacks of sticks doing that, which is um I think I lost my diamond saw as well. Oh well. Uh oh that's a bit annoying, honestly. Uh let's see, because I don't even have the sticks to make a saw right now. So Alright, we'll do that. I need two diamonds now. And I'll come over to here, and of course, yeah, it's doing the thing where your trash slot ends up in the wrong spot. Diamond handsaw, very good. And then I need a piece of iron. Hopefully regular iron, not an iron plate, but for, uh, dang it. You know what? I can go there. I'm not going to be crafting with a hoe. Uh, let's see. There he goes, engineer's wire cutters. Which I can then do that. Make some copper wires. Make some LV wire coils. How much copper do I have left? Um, two stacks, okay. Grab some more of that actually, cause well, I'm gonna need some wires as well as what I'm gonna ready to make here. And it was two, and then I need like four of these. All right, so one of those in the middle. Wrap it with LV coils. Upper coil block. Turn this into connect dynamo now. Hey, that was a quest complete. I kind of figured it would be. Also, farmer's delight. I did go ahead and pull out my my Kayam. Gives me some sea pickles. All right, becoming an engineer. Yep, kinetic dynamo. Iron grit and some cooked mutton. Which I haven't eaten in a while, so it's not bad. I got a single sea pickle. That request reward. Just one. Also three iron grit. Which you can get by centrifuging combs or running iron through a crusher. I need this for insulating glass, so I'm not going to be uh, doing anything with that right now. All right, let's go ahead and hammer up some more plates. Get these chopped up. And boom. LV wire coils. Now, quest-wise, it wanted me to make, what, a windmill next? And then that'll unlock all this? Okay. And it's just the windmill? Uh, that's not bad. I mean, windmill's decent enough early power. Well, let's grab some treated wood then, and I'm going to need 32 sticks. Oh, that's right. You, you do the thing too, don't you? Hmm. Okay. I I've, I've forgotten already. I need these windmill blades, which require treated sticks, which is I can run it through a woodcutter, or I can use an axe, but not a saw. And either way, it will give me like one. So I need 32 sticks. Oh, the... oh look, no, nope, you don't do that. So JEI lied to me. Here we go. That makes windmills even more expensive and even less of a reason to ever, ever make these things really. All right, windmill blade done. Windmill done. I mean, windmills look cool and all, but I mean, yeah. That one just took 60 or 56 uh, treated wood planks to make. Which I mean, I guess is okay. 
whenever it comes to, you know, the fact that it's helping me use up treated wood. But, I mean... Seriously, it's not, not great. There we go, and we'll just do that. There we go, we got some more treated wood now. Awesome. Put that away for a bit. Uh, the jerry can, it was still in here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And we'll just go ahead and do this then too. And boom. And wait for this to fill back up. All right. So windmill and connect dynamo is not a bad thing to have. Uh, I prefer water wheels though. So I'm going to need at least four of these for now. 16 sticks, I'll need 48 sticks total though. Goodbye, Iron Axe. Barely got a chance to use you. All right. And this one I got as a mob drop, I think it was. Acquisition Fire Aspect 1. Not bad. Uh, treated wood. Better grab some more laws over here. And steel. I'll need three pieces of steel. There we go. Okay, now I think I have everything. So we're going to go water wheel segment. Like that. Times 12. Perfect. Turn that into three water wheels. That's another quest complete, which is kind of nice. Hey, stone coin wasn't bad for that, I guess. Ah, here we go. Here's water wheel, which is another stone coin. Okay. And there's also the thermoelectric generator. Good putting quest rewards in my offhand, please. Don't like it. So, bricks, right? I think, yeah. Here we go. I need to make an alloy kiln next. Which is going to require sandstone and bricks. I need a total of eight uh, kiln brick blocks. And I can craft this up here. And like so, right? Quest complete alloy kiln. Not bad. We're just going to set this up over here. I got three walls done in my storage room. And I need my hammer now. Uh, a little bit of a pain trying to uh, get all the mossy cobble, actually. I mean, it's doable. Okay, that was weird. You didn't want to... Okay. But alloy kiln. Um, I need Constantin. Which is just a uh, copper and nickel alloy. And nickel, copper, uh, coal. There we go. And this thing will just combine those two metals for me. Awesome. But I need that for the thermoelectric. And for this, I need five constantin plates, three steel, and then a copper coil block. So that was what? 16 copper? Iron? Uh, some sticks. Do I have any sticks left? I leave them over here. Got four. That's going to be enough, honestly. And so hammer. Copper, plates, wires. Uh, pretty soon this will become a lot easier. I'll just do this. There we go. And we will do that. Now if you click this spot again, it'll repopulate the recipe, which is kind of handy at times. It did used to have a... Actually, it does. Here we go. You can clear the current recipe, and you can progress backwards and forwards through recipes you've done in the bench, so... I mean, not bad, right? So I need three steel and I need basically 10 in Constantin. Whoops, throw my water wheels on the ground there. And then Constantin usually doesn't have a whole lot of use. 
the most part, except for making these things. But if you choose to go this route, odds are you're going to actually get a decent amount of uh, thermoelectrics together. So it's quest complete. Hi. You are not welcome down here. Now, let's see, how much uranium do I have? Make a couple blocks now that the Enderman has stopped screaming in my ear. Now, thermoelectric generators work off of a principle of difference in temperatures between hot and cold. Oh, my tree farm is working. Sweet. I heard a noise. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Tree farm. It's great. I'll tell you what. We are going to bring power into this room right here. So right here is our power. Let's go ahead and set up our thermoelectric, like, say, here. And we're going to have coal blocks on two sides. And uh, I've got me a sandstone and... Eh, there. Just to fill the gap in. And the other sides, opposite the cold, you want hot. So hot, cold, cold, and then hot. Now this thing should start generating power. It has no internal buffer of its own, though. For buffers, you're going to want, like, the capacitors. Like so. Created wood, lead, copper, iron, redstone. So... Three of those, it was like what? Two lead, a copper, and a redstone. This is low voltage. Actually, it was two copper, one lead. Uh, holds the least amount of, uh, I was, yeah, okay. Making sure. Uh, it holds the least amount of power, provides the least amount of throughput. It's also the cheapest to make. And that was two quests done right there because of reasons. Hey, randomite. Sweet. That was from the thermoelectric. I need 27 steel plates to upgrade my blast furnace, which I'm going to hold off on for now because it's honestly working right now. The main difference is the improved blast furnace you can actually automate. And he gave me a copper and a nickel. It's like, hmm, hint, hint. Oh. All right. So LV capacitor, randomite, and some hemp. Okay. LV wire coil, grit, a sign, and some more hemp. All right, yeah, not bad. And we can now insulate LV wire coils with the uh, tough fabric we can make out of hemp. All right, and this is external heater, small laboratory furnace, okay. All good stuff. The lab furnace is actually a really good item. Diamond, gold, slime balls. Uh, not bad. And you are completely done. You are. Awesome. You can go there, and then you can go into there. Constantin doesn't have a home. I'm not going to give it one. I'm not going to mass produce Constantin at this point. Uh, but we're going to put our LV capacitor here. All right. Now, I need some hardened clay blocks as well. Did I bring those down? And... That shingles, which I can't convert back, can I? No, I'm stuck with them being shingles. Okay. It says terracotta. It's actually hardened clay. Let's go ahead and grab... Yeah, five should do it. I'm going to make some connectors and relays. So... Oh. Finger twitch. All right. Like so. One, two, one, two. LV, low voltage wire connectors. And our relay, we made like so. And that gives you eight per. And that is how you uh, basically connect the, you know, the wire coils to different blocks. Now, do I have my hammer on me? Do not. I'm going to need my engineer hammer. Probably make another one just used as, you know, the in-world hammer slash wrench. Might not be a bad idea. But you can right click on this. Blue is now input. Orange is output. Blank is nothing. So we want this to be input. This is an auto output here. This cannot be changed. I'm right clicking with the hammer. Nothing's happening. Connector goes there and then there. 
then one and two. And now if we come up here, uh, actually it's not even showing up at the tooltip. We, sh we should be having power show up here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to an output and throw another one of these connectors here. And then do the nature of my ceiling. I can't put a connector there and actually have it attach is the downside. It's actually hard to see, but it's, it's floating because that's the slab right there. But then I can just run this like up to here and now we can run wires across to like the top of the wall or whatever. And we can go from there. But now we actually have some power, which is, you know, the next step. And yep, connector and relay, cool. Got some copper out of it. Wooden posts are used to run, well, whatever you want, honestly. I got three copper, that's not terrible. But it's basically like a three block tall structure that you can put connectors on and so on and so forth. We'll play around with them later. This is just a temporary measure, so to speak. But we should have a little bit of power in here. Uh, the voltmeter, right? Uh, this thing. Engineer's voltmeter. Two sticks, copper, and a compass. Not bad. And I don't have any room on me anyway right now. My inventory was almost empty whenever I started this episode. And it is just rapidly filling up with everything. So compass. What else can I use compasses for? Soul compass, nest locator, engineer's voltmeter, and a map. Okay. So honestly, not an awful lot. But I can use this thing now. Hey, energy stored. 94,000 flux and climbing. It'll top up at 100,000. And then we can look at our wonderful little connector here. It's storing a little bit of power as well. 256 is the limit it can you know, transfer per tick. So makes perfect sense there. Hey, that's full now. And then we should see that this is full as well. This, you can see nothing pops up when I look right at the thermoelectric because this doesn't actually have any, any capacitance. It has no way to store power. So, I mean, it's a thing. It's just a generator. So, but one of the things I should probably work towards now is actually getting my hands on a... I'm worried to open up this loot crate, actually. Oh, single plug TNT. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure how many items this can give me. And the reason I was worried is because, well, I don't have inventory space right now. So... Um, yeah, the slime ball can go in there, so can that, and that. Uh, room for that? Yep. Cool. That helps a little bit, anyway. Caution, hot wire sign. That'll be perfect right about there, actually. Looks like it's even pointing down to that. That works. Remind me that I did not insulate that, because I just haven't gotten around to that part yet. Uh, let's see, the lead can go away. The wood can go. There we go. I'm looking a little bit better on on everything. All right, so I think I'm going to set up the windmill or the water wheel first. Uh, windmill, I'll eventually get set up somewhere. They can produce a decent amount of power. They're not great. They're okay. But for now, the windmill, probably going to go, not windmill, water wheel. Uh, I'm going to have to drop this down a block too, aren't I? So we're going to need a three wide gap here. And then I'm going to need it five blocks deep. Let's see, that's what three, four, and then five. That's going to be where my, uh, my capacitor goes. I'm going to have another capacitor being charged by this water wheel here. Um, yeah, let's go up one. Why do I not have a shovel on my hot bar? And I still am using stone. I don't like using the iron tools. They don't last long enough for the amount of iron used to make it. So, And then should I go ahead? Yeah, let's go ahead and drop this another block. 
that out so I can get in here. And it's a very basic water wheel for now. I'm just going to do that. I need another bucket of water. That would be a nice thing to have as an infinite spring. But, I mean, I literally live next to a river, so it's not, like, the worst. Actually, that's not a good spot for the capacitor, is it? There we go. Now it's an infinite source in the middle, so I'll just go ahead and grab that. Let's just clear that out. And now my kinetic dynamo is going to have to go... It's five tall, five wide, so it'll be there. That'll be centered. Which means I can grab this guy now. There we go. Awesome. Here, let me get this out. And I'm going to have to make a bit of an access point here, too. Placing the water wheels is a little bit fun at an angle. So their hitboxes are strange because these things are big. Yep, but there we go. We have our water wheel running. So now, need some more connectors, which means I need more copper. Not a problem. I'm going to run a connector to the, from there to probably here-ish. Uh, let's go here, bottom floor. That way it'll match up here. How am I doing on coils? I have two left. I have one connector left, so I need another connector. But you get four per recipe, so I mean, it's not terrible. All right, so you guys can go like that, like so. Thank you for the connector. Uh, I'm going to need another capacitor as well. It was one, two, one, 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 two, three, one, two. Oh, really? I can't cycle through the recipes? Oh, that is. Huh. That is odd. I was doing it earlier, and now it's just like, yeah, no. Antivirus just popped up over top of my screen with an ad. It's like, really? It's free, so I guess I can't really fault it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up here. And place this down. This wire is still connecting. Right. When you get far enough away, it'll actually turn, turn red like that means it's too far for a valid connection. But that wire can hook up to right up to about here, as long as it's not obstructed like right now it is. Now, yeah, I didn't think I could. I need to put a connector over here, though. Like that. Hook our wire up. Awesome. There we go. And then I can just set this side to output. And there's our power. Now, say if I run at there, then I can go here to here. I'm going to need more upper plates now. That's getting a little expensive on the copper, but I knew it would happen, so I'm not too concerned about it. Hello, Enderman. Now, you can use regular vanilla shears for that as well. I am out of sticks. But, uh, takes less iron to make the engineer's wire cutters than it does to make sticks. So, or not sticks, shears. All right, there we go. And then just in the interest of keeping it kind of sort of a little bit cleaner here, we're going to do this. Now, connectors can only have one wire running to or from them, right? They can only have one connection. Relays can have up to eight. So if you need this power to go to more than just one place, you have to run through a relay first. And there we go. Now both these capacitors are pushing power out into their connectors, so there's no loop or anything. There's no feedback, which is important because wires do actually result in a little bit of energy loss. And if you have like an actual loop set up, a closed loop system, the wires will actually drain all the power out of your batteries over time. So... Now, you are not generating any power. Did I forget? I did, didn't I? Yeah, you're not an input side. Camera, please. Thank you. 
Facing side, no connection. Facing side, input. Now. There we go. Now this is a very slow water wheel right now. So it is not generating a whole lot of power. There are ways to speed this up. The more sides you can have water flowing across, the better. So... What I could get away with is going like that now. And the water is going to flow all the way out to here to that point there. Right. But now. See how the, the power is now ticking up quicker and the water wheel itself is moving faster. There's water flowing on two sides, but I can also run water across the top. Which I might do eventually. But it's one of those like, as you know, as needs must. And right now I don't I don't need it. So. And we're just going to put a torch there because I don't want anything spawning in there. And boom. Water wheel is now covered up. I'll eventually swap that cobble out with something because I really don't like the new cobble texture. Not so bad on the mossy, but on, on regular it's just... I don't know. Not fond of it. Not fond of most of the resource, resource uh, or texture changes they did. Resource pack changes and all that fun stuff. But we at least have some power running now. So I should probably make a press because that'll save me a lot of uh, a lot of resources in the future as we go. I'm going to need first probably a heavy engineering block. I'm going to need four sheets, four steel sheet metals. I need four steel mechanical components, which is four steel plates each. That's what, 16, 20 plates? Because these take four plates to make, but they give you four back. This takes four plates to make, but it make, gives you one back. I do have an engineer's workbench where I can cut the steel production in half, though. As long as I get this engineer's blueprint crafting components. Steel, aluminum, or sorry, iron, aluminum, copper, three blue dye, three paper. All right, so that's the thing. And then I need electrum in the middle, which is a gold and silver alloy. And we're just going to make a, mm, a bit, right? Five, six, seven, eight... You and you can go to town. Now, is this blast furnace still running? No, it's not. I had this one piece of gold ore, so don't want to do that. Uh, the kiln ran through. I had a bunch of extra sand. So I just decided to turn it into glass, and then I went and did some mining off camera right before this episode. So I need paper. I need blue dye. And it's getting kind of strange in here now. I took all the iron bars out for the building project. And it's all my all my dies are downstairs still. Dang it. Alright, and actually they would be this one. Yep, here we go. So three of you got like two paper. Ray. Actually give me three more of those. I will need them here shortly. And then, like, say, sugar cane. That again. There we go. All right, awesome. Uh, whoop, wrong way. So here, just go ahead and give me a bucket of water, would you? I do like the water elevator mechanic, though. That's kind of nice. And the swimming changes are nice, too. Most of my complaints with the newer versions of the game, actually, just eh, how it looks. So... I know, I'm being, being a picky person. All right, so iron, copper, aluminum. And like so, engineer's blueprints, crafting components. Oh, nice. And then this can go into here. And now I can make these four things using this bench. The circuit board and the vacuum tube have to be made in here. The two mechanical components become a lot cheaper if you make them in here, though. So I need eight plates, so that's going to be 16 steel. And then four copper. Actually, no, I need more than eight. Um, need 12, so it's 24. Because I still have to make the steel sheet metal as well. So, like so. There's that. 
and we'll just go one, two, three, four, like so. <clears throat> and I can just drop these steel plates, drop ingots in here, and we can just pull those out. The mechanical components. Awesome. Over here, our electrum is done. Even better. And now our heavy equipment, our heavy mechanical block, heavy engineering. There we go. That one. I now have four of those. And I think I'm going to put my press over here. So the press is going to be one, two, three wide by three tall. One block deep. So there's that. Now I need redstone, two iron, and some leather, two, three. I need leather, actually. Where did all my leather go? I don't think I get that much leather from the cows using... What do I take out the cows using a butcher axe? It gives me, like, maybe one leather, but it gives me, like, nine beef. So it's, it's a bit of a trade-off. But conveyor belts are part of that. I'm going to need a piston. So... That. Just one. Thank you. And some planks, which I should have some in here still. Yep. Three of those. Not a problem. Redstone, iron, and some cobble. Leave that in there because you never know. Now here's a question. I need my engineer hammer too. All right, if I place you here, can I? You only rotate on the. Oh, that's right. I ran into this in the last pack I played too. It only rotates along the one axis, and you have to use a. Really, vanilla behavior is anything breaks a piston. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for changing that up. Boom. Because that thing has to be facing down, is the thing. It used to be, depending on which side of the block you picked, it would rotate uh, basically clockwise around the center point. The center point being the face you clicked here. So if it was facing originally this way, I would just right click it and it would rotate down and then to the left and then up and it would do that. Now it just rotates along you know, flat plane instead, which makes it completely useless for moving things like this. So thank you, Blue. All right, one, two. I need like five steel now because I need to make some scaffolding. So we're going to do, boom, make ourselves some of these wonderful, wonderful steel rods. Two, three, and then take these three across top. A hey, scaffolding. Which is a great building material as well. So awesome. And then that'll go there like that. Our conveyor belts. As you go to place these, you can make it face different directions, depending on which side of the block you're looking at. Oh, there we go. And like so. We want both of these running same direction. Now we just need a redstone engineering block. So one of these. That is going to be four iron sheet metal, four redstone, and a copper ingot. Is that recipe changed by any chance? No, that's the new one. Okay. Used to just be uh, iron ingots, I believe, in the past. So now it requires sheet metal, which is from plates and so on and so forth. One, two, three, and four. Done. Make one of these. And these are, there's at least one of these in every machine that you will make. Every multi-block machine you will make. This is the point of redstone control for that machine. So this is where you can apply a redstone signal, turn it on or off, so on and so forth. Now I left my hammer that I absolutely 100% need over here. And I'll just right click on the piston. If everything's facing the right way, it will create the multi-block for you. Now I'm going to have to go here. Very top of that block there is our power input. Run this to there. Now if I grab my voltmeter, we can now see we're storing 16,000 flux inside of here. They're quite awesome. Now comes the fun part. I need press molds. Probably the first one will be the metal press mold plate. But to do that, I need the blueprint for it, which is going to require an iron plate. And then this one actually took three steel plates as well, so grab six of those. And 
like so. Then you guys, tell you what, Electrum and Constantin, just, they can stay in this inventory. I'll just try to remember to pull them out before I, uh, I could have moved it. All right, so paper, blue dye, iron plate. Gives us our wonderful engineer's blueprint for metal press molds. I'm going to need my engineer's wire cutters for this as well now. And you can place anything you want in these six inventory slots. They're used for, you know, crafting recipe ingredients, but it's kind of handy to keep that one there. And now we're going to do three steel plates and our wire cutters. And now we can actually make a metal press mold plate. And you just come over here and you just right click on here. And now you can actually see the press mold right there. You can see the shape of it. It's a plate shape. And can I have like five iron for right now? Because oh, I want to make five iron plates. And all you have to do is just literally just throw whatever you want on there. And it'll feed it off to the side there and spit it out at the end. We go and I have like eight of these please thank you we're gonna come over here we're gonna make ourselves a box we're gonna make ourselves a treated wood box now that's gonna be a thing and then I need to make a hopper this is why I needed that box I don't know why that didn't go to my inventory Create a sanguine conveyor belts, they will automatically insert into plates. Another great thing, they can accept items from hoppers. Get like 20, 20 iron plates, sounds good. Run through this through here, do like that. You're gonna feed one at a time. This belt will not accept an item until after the one previous has been flattened. And that's just going to run there. It's automatically putting things into this box for me, so I don't have to worry about them despawning afterwards. Everything is great. Now I need three more steel plates as well. And it has the same sound bug. There's like an invisible line. As soon as you cross it, the sound completely stops. But it's just as loud here as it is right next to the machine. Sound doesn't fade with distance anymore. It just goes out and just stops. And I personally do not like that at all. But make ourselves a wire press mold now. Uh, let's get like, say 20 of these. And you can just walk up here. And you can just right click and it'll swap it. Easy as can be. If you hold shift right click, you can pull the mold out. But you're holding a mold and you just right click it'll swap it out and now with the wire press mold though one ingot is becoming two wires so i mean we went from two ingots to one wire to one ingot equals two so that's a poor x efficiency not bad at all really and we're going to be using a lot of wires so this is definitely worth it same with the plates going to be using plates for everything so kind of nice actually being able to do that now be a little more efficient with resources and it just takes some power which right now i mean our power is coming from from electric and from you know water power hydropower but hey copper wire we have ourselves some iron plate uh, let's go ahead and look at our quest book here and so i need a Metal press mold rod. Okay, it's not a problem. Conveyor belts was a quest. Hey, that's a copper coin. Awesome. And then there's a bunch of different conveyors you can make. Oh, there's the specialized ones. Dropping conveyor belt, vertical, splitting, and then extracting conveyor belts. They all do what they say. And then the dropping drops items in the inventory below the belt. Uh, it'll also drop items into the world, which is kind of handy. So if you want to drop from one belt to another, you can do that. Item router pump items in and then you can determine which side of the block it comes out of top bottom north south east west completely filterable it's awesome sheet metal shoots dropping items directly down and stops players from picking them up inserts to inventories inventories below them and can be turned to a side eject with a shift right click of the engineer's hammer 
and they're not terribly expensive. So that's going to be basically six plates equals 12. So, I mean, they're not bad. They're very handy to have. Then there's covered conveyors that keep players from walking up. You know, if you walk over a conveyor belt, you'll scoop the items up on them because the conveyor belt doesn't have an inventory. It just moves entities through the world. So theoretically, it's an infinite throughput device. You can have, you know, a billion items on there if it didn't crash your game. But this will keep you from picking up stuff on conveyor belts. So, I mean, easy enough. Uh, we got the blueprints. Gives us more paper. Well, and that was for components and molds. Over here, there's a fluid pump we can make, which requires power to pick up fluids in the world. Which is a bit of a downside, but infinite water production here. Steel scaffolding. But your multi-block machine construction also looks good as a decoration. I agree. Random reward of some Constantin. Eh, not bad. Over here is prospecting. Mineral survey tools. Really? That's that's new, actually. I'll have to play around with that later. Then there is the projector. It projects the out blocks of multi-block item or multi-block machines into the world so you know exactly where each block is supposed to go. Uh, engineer's blocks. Oh, that's just a check mark. Okay, cool. And redstone is done. And okay. And then the heavy is done. Copper coin and some food. Chocolate bar. And there's also radiator blocks, generator blocks, and light engineering blocks, which the light ones open up the transport mod. Redstones open up advanced machinery with a pity machine frame. And then these three, radiator, generator, and heavy, you use that to get into biofuel production, which is large amounts of power. It's very, very wonderful when it's up and running. Here we go. Diesel generator. Yeah, 4,096 uh, energy per tick out of that. And I am throwing stuff on the ground because I have no room. You know, let's just uh, put some of this stuff into here that I don't need to carry on me. There we go. Good thing I looked down. Really would have missed having a chocolate bar. Actually, yeah, chocolate, I can kind of take it or leave it, really. All right. So, currency exchange. Copper coins. Got two of them. Bricks. I'll take it. Potion, potion, or potion. Eh, we'll go with this one, I guess, right? As well. Potion of slow fall. Meh. Not that enthusiastic about that one. Uh, fall damage prevention is so much better than slow fall. Slow fall I just personally find to be extremely annoying. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I've got some stuff to put away. I should probably go mining again. Like I just killed my uranium. That was Constantin. Yeah. So if I want to do more thermoelectrics, I'm going to need to find some more uranium. And that is one of the rare... Rarer ores in ores of engineering. So, but thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next one, I'm signing out. Have fun.